Welcome back to WTOL 11 Your Day. You know we love our first responders, but they're suffering. The coronavirus pandemic, traumatic and difficult experiences on the job, all has taken a huge toll on their mental health. And we want to help. Brandi Lee Baker is the president and co-founder of the Code 9 Project, and she joins us this morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here today. Good morning, Amanda. Thank you so much for having us. Absolutely. First of all, tell me a little bit about the Code 9 Project, what exactly it is and how it got started. So we're a national nonprofit. We serve the entire United States, delivering education, life-saving trainings for departments and advocacy uh, for assistance for officers to get assistance for the prevention of PTS and suicide. You know, we've, we've been hearing so much lately, I think even in the last couple of years and during this pandemic of these officers and these first responders who are suffering. So there is a huge need. Yes, absolutely. Uh, we're all experiencing tremendous stress from this pandemic. Just imagine the life changes that you personally are experiencing coupled with having to serve the public emergencies consistently. It's a tremendous burden on all our first responders and our departments and providing resources regularly is critical to keeping our first responders healthy to support your communities. Talk a little specifically about uh, the types of services and resources you provide and how officers and, and first responders can get connected to these services. Absolutely. So we have a non-publicized critical incident response team that responds to interdepartmental suicides and mass casualties. So departments that are suffering, all they have to do is reach out to the Code 9 Project and we will be there within 24 to 72 hours. And that's all done quietly. The public doesn't have any knowledge of that happening. And we provide the stabilization and support for officers and departments suffering while they're still having to continue to serve the public. We build peer support teams. We, um, we provide intensive leadership wellness training and stress education training that's all nationally accredited for departments and frontline officers for stress management to provide them with the education about stress and the nervous system and coping tools and resources so that the officers and the departments have a whole wellness plan and structure and strategy to face these daily stressors. So you guys are there um, when no one else knows about it, but um, you're the ones who, who come in and, and help out. That's correct. And how can we support this cause and you know help give back and help support our first responders? Amanda, thank you so much for asking that question. I, I appeal to the public. We are a nonprofit. Your donations provide the scholarship funding for us to be able to deploy rapidly to these departments in crisis. So your generosity is what fuels and funds the ability to provide these trainings and resources to our departments all over the country. Uh, Brandy Lee, this is, it just sounds like it's such an an important uh, organization here that, that you're operating. How, what does it mean to you to be able to participate in this? It means everything. I know what it's like to suffer. I am a PTSD survivor myself. Um, this organization was um, inspired by a very close family member who was a combat veteran and a law enforcement officer who has uh, passed. And, you know, there is a nation of individuals serving their countries and communities silently suffering. There are departments that are doing everything they can to serve their communities with limited resources. And that's just not okay because those are the infrastructure of our society. We must support, we must set up to succeed. So this is a tremendous passion for myself and my entire team who are all active duty or former first responders and um, military officers, as well as chaplains, specific for first responders and law enforcement. And tell us once again where people can go to learn more information. The Code 9 projectorg You can also find us on social media at The Code 9 Project. Wonderful. Brandy Lee, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it.